Over 2,000 years ago, ancient Chinese scholars observed the changing patterns in our natural world, the climate, the turning of the seasons, and astronomy. The scholars measured and divided the sun's annual movements into 24 equal parts, creating the 24 solar terms, which were used to govern agriculture in ancient China. Even to this day, this invention still guides the lives and traditions of hundreds of millions of Chinese people. Every year, around May the 5th, Chinese people welcome in the first summer solar term, the beginning of summer. Traditions include eating a meal with freshly harvested rice, checking your weight and giving each other black rice with blessings for another year. China is the third largest country in the world. Its regional climate conditions are hugely diverse. In early May, at the beginning of summer, the north seems to be still, hovering at the end of spring. But the south has completely entered the summer. Guanxi is located in the south of China. It's one of the most abundant areas for rainfall in China. This is the perfect place for growing rice. I'm here in Bama County, Guanxi, to witness the annual rice planting festival. This is a very important ceremony held on the day that marks the beginning of summer. I'm going to visit Mr. Huang Wenhui, who will be the host for this rice planting festival. The Yao people in Bama have been farming for generations. And apart from the annual spring festival, the rice planting festival at the beginning of summer is the most important festival. Compared with the Western preference for wheat, the Chinese are known for their love of rice, especially the Southern Chinese. This preference is related to the history of rice in China, which of course is where rice originated from. As early as 7,000 years ago, at the dawn of human civilization, the Chinese discovered the miracle of rice. Over the centuries, as rice became the most popular staple food in China, the problem of feeding the most populous nation on earth was resolved. The 24 solar terms, invented more than 2,000 years ago, help farmers successfully define the farming year, and it still works today. At the Qingming solar term about a month ago, Bama villages had planted their rice into the dry land, and now the seedlings have grown to about eight centimeters tall. At the beginning of summer, the rice crop is at its most vigorous growth stage, transplanting the rice seedlings from the dry fields to the paddy fields at the beginning of summer is an essential step to ensure a good harvest. After the ceremony and rituals, the next step is plowing the rice fields with a buffer. Okay. <笑>你到七十三還可以接著幹活了 
这样，这样就可以。这样的话，小朋友。You know, there's always something very romantic about rice paddies, especially when you see them from above and you've got this amazing reflection. And here in Guangxi, you're surrounded by these very dramatic mountains. And for me, this is the first time I've actually got to experience what rice really is. Rice for me is just something that comes at the end of the meal in China. But these guys have been farming this way for hundreds of years, and it's absolutely fascinating. With the worldwide population explosion and the expansion of cities and with increasing urbanization, the deep relationship between human beings and nature, the very source of our food, is being weakened. Not everyone has the chance to be like me here, to experience how to cultivate rice in paddy fields, how to actually produce food. The Chinese have always paid great attention to the beginning of summer, since ancient times. More seedlings transplanted in the summer means more grain stocked up in the storehouses for winter. This is a well-known common saying among Chinese farmers.这样的我们呢插秧这个秧苗是这样的就两根三根就可以了这个可以啊右手拿右手拿这个哦我是左手的你的左手的对对对对对这样子嗯啊好的插下去这么多可以吗啊可以就这么多嗯插下去好的你要
，老东。哎，对对对，小心点啊，嗯，有刺啊，这里也有。那这个水果就是到离下就才能吃，是吧？哦，对对对，就是这段从现在开始可以有十天时间这样可以采这个了，嗯，再过这个往后，这个就没有了。The Chinese raspberry is a very vigorous plant. No matter what the climate, or whether the land is fertile or barren, green or dry, this fruit can grow in large quantities. Yes. 孩子能喝吗？啊、哦，是啊，孩子不能喝。<笑> the fruits are extremely delicate and difficult to preserve. The secret of preservation is that it must be done on the same day the fruits are collected, because they deteriorate so quickly. 这个有劲吗？可以喝，还可以，可以喝一点。可以喝一点。可以尝一下，嗯，有劲儿。可以吧？呼！哎，先放这个下去。哦。我们先哦，把这个， right. 把我们今天我们咋样？我们今天去放去、嗯。这有十斤的。啊、哦。我来吧。啊、哦，好的。放下去。嗯。多少？全部放下去。全部。Every year at the beginning of summer, the new raspberry wine is sealed until the next summer, when it is opened and enjoyed at the longevity banquet in Barma. We now, ah, put it on the fridge. On the fridge for a year. A year after, you can try it. This is last year. This is last year. Ah, this is who who picked it up? 储存下来啊、呃，一直都是这样子。你们都会啊、哦哦？嗯，甜，甜，嗯，哦。The Barma Longevity Banquet is a special celebration of the beginning of summer. After the rice planting, all the Barma villages will make their share of a hearty meal together to celebrate and to wish the elderly good health and longevity. This is something I've never seen before. Usually when you have dumplings in China, the outside is, is a bread, it's wheat or it's corn, but this is tofu. So on the outside of here is all tofu. On the inside is pork and coriander. You make them into these beautiful little cakes and then we slap them down here. What happens next is they're deep fried. That sounds delicious. Look at that. Zumiya. The food is ready. The annual rice ceremony begins. They've been farming rice for generations in Burma. The staple food here is, of course, rice. But first, it must be blessed in a rice blessing ceremony. Well, now that that ceremony is over, I have to say that I was very unaware of exactly what was happening. I certainly didn't understand what the Taoist priest was saying. But 
these ceremonies, from what I can understand, mean that once I've had my sticky rice blessed, that it will bring good harvest and longevity. I'm going to live for a very long time. After the rice ceremony, the blessed rice will be specially dyed into five colors, turning it into a more ceremonial food for the banquet. Five colored rice. The rice is dyed with natural edible vegetable juices. This wooden tool they use to crush the leaves and extract the juice is the same one that was invented during the Han Dynasty over 2,000 years ago. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can remember my mother telling me you should eat a variety of colors and foods and it will keep you healthy. Now these five healthy colors are all here. They remind me of the colors of the Olympic rings. I think maybe the secrets of the Burma people's health and longevity is symbolized by these five colors from nature. The five colored rice is cooked and the longevity banquet begins. <laughs> The celebration of the beginning of summer is coming to a close. This is a festival which celebrates good health, long life, and most especially, rice itself. The Chinese have a very deep connection with rice. After all, they discovered it, and they invented ways to cultivate it. Rice is essentially the fuel of China. Planting, farming, and harvesting in harmony with nature Seasons and cycles, contraction and growth, new life born from old. The 24 solar terms are the crystallization of this ancient wisdom. 